Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'm here to show you guys the best stretch res for Fortnite right now. I've currently been playing on it. It's great. It lowers down the input delay and gives you a great FPS. And you do it through display scaling. I'm here to inform you guys now that before you do anything I do, you might get a black screen. But if you follow everything I do correctly, you won't have a black screen. If you, just, if you skip a step or something, you're definitely going to have a black screen. I will put in the description how to fix it. It's not hard. It happened to me when I first tried to put it on. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And I hope you really enjoyed the video. Now let's get into it. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to do this through uh, display scaling. So by the time I show you this, I'm going to show you guys how it should look. So this is play. Both your desktop resolution and your active signal resolution should be at the stretch res. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna, everything that you need will be in the description. So you will need to download something called CRU, but it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's not too hard at all. So you would right click. First, we gotta go to our NVIDIA control panel. So click your video control panel, go to change resolution, make sure you're clicking on your native, and make sure you click customize, and make sure you have no custom resolutions in here, so delete any custom resolutions, then uncheck this, you're going to have it checked, uncheck it, then press ok, then go to adjust desktop size and position. You want to move this to no scaling and to make sure you could do display scaling you will see the option display if you can't do it and you just have gpu i'm sorry but you're not going to be able to do this stretch res so there's other videos that you can find that just do gpu scaling but we're doing it with display scaling for the most lowest input delay press apply and yes, your screen will go black. And yes, keep changes. So now once you're done with that, you want to open the download CRU. Then you want to go to your CRU EXE. Click it. Then go to your monitor that you're currently using for your Fortnite, anything. I know this is the monitor I use. And then you want to go to extension blocks, click it, and press edit. Then go to the last option, the last, the last one, okay. Go to edit, press copy, and then press okay. Now when you're done with that, you want to go to the top and just delete the rest. Even the one you just copied. Press okay. Then you want to go over here and you don't want any of this checked. So you want to press none. Don't check any of this. Then you want to go back. You might as well just delete the data blocks. Why not? Then you could go over here. You want to delete everything in here. Nothing. Then you want to press add. Then you want to go here and pick 1920 times 1080. Keep it on 60 hertz. Then you want to go over here. Delete anything in here. You don't want nothing in there. Then you want to press add. And this looks like exactly what you had. Press paste. Now everything you copied will be pasted in here, and this is where you want to add the stretch res. So you, the stretch res that every pro is basically using right now is 1720 times 1080. Then you want to press OK, and then OK. And then you want to do a restart 64.exe. Now this is where everybody's going to at least experience a black screen if you skip the step or you don't have display scaling on now once you press restart see if they back guys um it's going to give you two options it's going to be like a 1.5 graphic drivers once it's done restarting just press x on it press x on this press x on this press x on that that wasn't even in part of the video i apologize guys but now you should feel like you're on 60 hertz you want to right click your background click display settings Scroll down to advanced display settings. Go to your monitor. 
uh, go to display adapter properties go to list all modes and then scroll down and voila you see it press ok press apply who doesn't know black screen keep changes press ok and now boom you have your active signal resolution at 1720 times 70 and you have your desktop resolution at it so that's perfect but say whatever you just don't like it you don't want it and you just want to go back to normal okay you want to go to your CRU again press reset all exe then once it's done doing that it's going to reset it it's going to give you the option press ok or press x on it then press restart or restart 64 x exe and boom you should be back to your normal you just got to go back to your uh advanced display settings and change your um change your hertz back to what your monitor um goes to and yeah like i said you might experience a black screen if you didn't follow me correctly um i will put a way to fix it in the description just in case if anything happens hope you guys really enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed your stretch rest tell me about it in the comments and i hope you have a great day